I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AEO Grey Organics. In this video, we will see the scholarships given by three central agriculture universities of India to the PG and PhD students because all the students would prefer for the scholarships. So this video will be useful for everyone. Most of the subscribers, those who are attending counseling for PG and PhD are asking about the scholarships. So this video will be very, very useful to you. Before that, we have to know that what are the three central agriculture universities of India. Here, when we come to ICER website, we can see the three central agriculture universities. One is Central Agriculture University, which is in Imphal uh, in Manipur. Second is Rani Lakshmi Bhai Central Agriculture University, Jansi Uttar Pradesh and Dr. Rajendra Prasad Central Agriculture University, Pusa, Samastipur. So these are the three central agriculture universities that are under central government in India. When we come to the central universities, there will be the scholarship for PG and PhD student. It may be for any discipline or it may be for any central, central universities. So these are the central universities which is specifically for the agriculture. So these are called the central agriculture universities. So when we come towards this, for PG and PhD, we have asked the students, those who are studying there, and they have explained something. Here, with respect to this Rani Lakshmi Bhai Central Agriculture University, first we will see there, because in their academics report, they have given that, what is the scholarship given by them. So, I will take this one. This is the website of Rani Lakshmi Bhai Central Agriculture University. When we click on this academics, there will be the academic regulation. So, we can go to this academic regulation, which is in the next page. In this, they have given this academic regulation for postgraduate studies. We can download this one. Already have downloaded. This is somewhat older regulation only, but it is uh, shoots for now also. So, in this regulation, they have given that scholarship will be given for both PG and PhD student, that is master's and PhD student, if they have maintained the CGP of uh, 7. So, this is for Rani Lakshmi Bhai Central Agriculture University. I think so, the fellowship will be for uh, MSc students, master's students is around 3000 rupees. Surely, they will get 3000 rupees. And for uh, PhD student, monthly scholarship will be or fellowship will be somewhat 4500 to 5000 rupees. This is the academics for uh, Central Agriculture University, which is in Manipur, Imphal. Here, for the master's and uh, PhD program, they are giving this university institutional fellowship for the master student. This fellowship is around 3000 rupees per month. Here uh, they have to maintain the OGP of uh, 7. Next, with respect to the PhD students, they are giving monthly fellowship of uh, rupees 5000. Here also they need to maintain the OGP of uh, 7. So, this is with respect to Central Agriculture University, which is in Manipur, Impal. Next, with respect to this uh, third, that is uh, RPCIU, I have searched uh, their academics, it is not found there, but uh, I confirmed with uh, one of my junior. So, for them, I asked, here they have mentioned that for the for the students, those who are uh, doing masters, that is PG, they will get the scholarship of 3000 rupees per month, and for uh, PhD, they will get 4500 rupees per month. So, this is with respect to RPCIU, Rajendra Prasad Central Agriculture University. So, these are the three Central Agriculture Universities. Next, with respect to the Central Agriculture Universities Fellowship, one of the important information that what we have to notice, if a student is getting NTS Fellowship from ICR, then he or she is not eligible for this, or if they are getting any other fellowship also, they are not eligible for these fellowships. Only they should, if they are not having any other fellowship, they are eligible for this University Fellowship. This is with respect to all the universities only. Next, for PhD also, if you are going through ICER means surely you will not get a NTS fellowship. For PhD we are having only JRF and SRF fellowship. So you are able to get this 500 rupee monthly fellowship. If you are going through common entrance test means then you are eligible for this fellowship for masters and doctoral degrees. So these are the three central agriculture universities in India. They are providing the fellowships for master and doctoral students. This is the information what I plan to convey from this video. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you.